Hello everyone, happy results day. I thought I would quickly introduce this video while I am in a quiet space in the office. This is one of our office meeting rooms, but it is results day. My results are technically released in 20 minutes time today. There has been a few systems technical issues with the platform that we get our results on though, so I'm not too sure if I'll get them at 6 p.m. today or some other time this evening, but basically results are on their way. If you're not aware, I'm sitting actuarial exams. They're IFOA Institute and Faculty of Actuaries exams. These last exams I sat were in April this year. I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I'm feeling a little bit nervous right now about the results. I sat two subjects. The first was CP1. There were two exam papers for this subject. It's actuarial practice, so basically a written paper all about the applications of actuarial work in insurance, in pensions, in investment, in risk management. It's a real beast of a paper. Everyone knows CP1 as one of the toughest, if not the toughest, actuarial exam. It's twice the size of most of the other exams, so if I can get a pass for that one it would be a huge, huge win. But it was my first time taking it, I have no idea how to judge how it went, so we'll see. And then there's CP2, which was a retake for me. Some of you might have seen my last results video, which was a little bit disappointing. It didn't go the way it normally did, and I failed an exam. It was sad, but I picked myself up, dusted myself off, and had another go, only to crash and burn a second time in April. I really, really, really screwed up CP2 again. <laughs> My exam technique was bad, I ran out of time on the first paper, and despite the second paper actually going really well, I don't think it was enough to bring it back. So, my results prediction is a pass for CP1 and a fail for CP2. I don't want to jinx anything, I hope that hasn't jinxed anything. I think my fate has been determined already by the examiners. I may be completely off the mark, but we'll see. And CP2, by the way, was all about spreadsheets and good practice spreadsheet modelling and audit trails. It's honestly quite embarrassing if I fail it again, like it really is a hit to the ego if I fail the same exam twice. Also, forgot to mention, if I pass both exams today, I am officially an associate member of the IFOA, so I'm classified as part qualified. It's a milestone you reach when you pass all of the core exams. The odds of that happening are slim, but it's possible, so I just thought I'd mention it here. I, I really do think that I've failed at least one, but if I pass both, it's a cause for celebration, so let's see. Anyway, I'm heading out of the office now because it's my sister's results day today as well. She's getting her degree results today, which kind of makes my results seem less significant. So she's feeling quite nervous as well. So we're going to go out for dinner now that I've finished work. She's just finished work. And then I think I'm going to go out for drinks afterwards with some of the other actuarial associates at my company. Just to be social, you know, it's results day. I might need a drink whichever way results go. So planning on meeting up with them in Shoreditch. So... It should be a nice evening, however it goes. <laughs> Off we go. Off to meet my sister, who apparently is nearby. She's just got the tube to bank, so yeah. Hello. Hello. How are you feeling? Not great. Oh no. Have you got results? No. Oh no. That's why I'm not feeling great. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous too. But they, the servers crashed on the UCL. Oh, classic. So I don't know if I'll get it Do you get an email or is it on a platform? It's meant to get an email, it uploads on the platform tomorrow. Oh goodness. So let's go get dinner. Yeah, dinner time. We're at bank. Here we are. We've chosen Pizza Express. Okay. I'm about to open my results. Hopefully you can hear me right now. If not, you'll see my reaction. And that's the main There'll be subtitles. Yeah. Okay. I'm going on the IFOA website. Let's go. Okay, so the results are there. Well, what are they? Can you see that? It's not focusing. Oh, there it is. Should I open CP2? 
Or CP1 first. CP1 because you think you failed. No, CP2 I think. Oh, CP2 then. Higher, yeah, CP2. Download. Oh, I don't want to touch it. I passed. Yay! By how many marks? That's a miracle. 64, mark 64, pass. What's the pass mark? I don't know. Who cares, you passed. Yay. <laughs> I'm so happy with that. Oh my god, that's my day made already because I thought I failed that one. Oh my god, I brought it back with this too. It was a good thing too. Oh, that's such a relief I didn't fail twice. Right, get on to the next one. What? No. You sure? Yeah. That's terrible. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> That's not even funny. What's this? On the bright side, you don't have to pay to retake this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. The pass mark for reference is normally around 59. So do I feel cheated that I failed the 59? Yes. Yes, I do. It's a bit rude, really. It's still good, though. You passed the one that you failed last time. Yeah, but I failed the big one. <laughs> but you passed the one that you look failed last time. It's not the end of the world. This is my worst result today. So far. But you failed last time. This is a bigger one to I thought you said this one went all right. What happened? I don't know. I thought I'd passed this one. I predicted that I passed it. I thought it went well. At least you got to see the salad coming. <laughs> At least I've got a Caesar salad of pizza and pizza. Oh. Okay, well, that's it, everyone. She failed. An even bigger exam. But at least I've passed it. At least if I fail now, I feel better about it. Yeah. Sorry, sis. Fails happen, but I'm going to move it. It's a learning curve. Alright, cut. Okay. Cut. Cut. I feel a whole lot better now because uh, I have a Caesar salad. Lydia's got her calzone. And she still doesn't have her results. We've just ordered a couple of alcoholic drinks because I need a drink off that. I'm getting over it slowly but surely. I'm not gonna lie, that one. You were right there. I'm not gonna lie, that one. That's the toughest fail to take so far. I feel probably the most upset I've ever felt over any exam result right now. But at least you've got a Caesar salad. But at least I've got a Pizza Express Caesar salad. And you know what? It's all about the journey, isn't it? And without fails, you wouldn't have that fun journey. I want to pass. You want to pass? Yeah, no, I don't want the journey. I'll let you know if she does get her results, but still no sign. It's the problem with having a surname at the end of the alphabet. All of her course mates have got their results, but she doesn't because she has a surname that begins with a Y. Any discrimination. It is discrimination. But hey, all my friends have got that. Even the W's, even the W's, <laughs> even the W's have got their results. Yeah, they're sending them out by email for Lydia, so it's a worry they might have clocked off for the day. Might have clocked off at five. Surely there's not someone typing in the email. Surely it's the system, right? I have no idea how they do this. But anyway, I'm gonna eat and cry at the same time. So bye. Here's to failure. Here's to failure, everyone. Cheers. <laughs> I am now walking to Flight Club to play darts with my colleagues. I am going to have to break it to them that I failed my exam. And they're all going to think I'm stupid. No, not really. They won't. In general, you don't get judged when you fail actuarial exams because everyone knows it's hard to get through them without failing. And I won't be the only one that's failed. I don't think, okay? It is what it is, let's go have a fun evening.
the following day everybody it is now friday my sister got her results today finally she got a first in her human sciences degree from ucl so i'm super proud of her i'm glad someone's had some success with results I've spent the day telling my colleagues about how I failed my big exam and it hasn't been great. Felt on the verge of tears. Did have a little cry this morning, I won't lie. Possibly the first time I've ever cried about a set of results. I've cried about exams before, but I'm not sure I've ever cried after receiving the results. So that's new. It's a little bit pathetic, I know. Like there's so many bigger things in the world than exams. I can literally retake it next sitting. But failing just isn't a nice feeling, guys everyone says failing is a part of life but i i don't enjoy it i feel stupid i feel like i've let myself down the worst part is thinking about the hours i spent studying for this exam i missed friends birthday parties i skipped out on social occasions and for what for a fail it's just frustrating i'm sorry i need to vent a little bit and the reason why i'm really really gutted about the fail i'm gonna explain to you via a graph so i'm gonna put a graph on screen this basically shows the pass mark for cp1 for every sitting since the new spec came in so for every cp1 exam there's ever been i've put a bar showing the pass mark and then the orange dotted line is the mark I got this time round, 59. And you can see that in literally any other sitting, apart from this sitting, a 59 would have been a pass. Especially in the last five sittings, it's been hovering around 54, 55. So the goalposts have moved and it upsets me. But there's nothing I can do about it. My script actually didn't get reviewed because it was three marks off the pass mark. And to be eligible for a script review, you have to be two marks off the pass mark. So I've resigned myself to a retake. At least yesterday evening was fun. I'm really glad I went out and socialized yesterday evening because it did take my mind off the fail. And I think I would have spent the whole of yesterday evening feeling sad and down if I hadn't done that. I just need a bit of time. I really don't feel like studying at all right now. I think I need to just take a few days, breather, reassess my situation. It does throw up into the air what I'm taking next sitting. I'd plan to take two specialist subjects and sitting those alongside CP1 is just not feasible. The heads of my team at work were so nice about it. One of them rung me up and basically said, are you okay? Don't be discouraged. The other one sent me a nice message saying the best actuaries fail one or two exams along the way. And I really appreciate that encouragement and support. All the other student actuaries out there, I hope your exam results went well. Please do feel free to comment down below if you want to with how you got on. Give the video a like, subscribe to my channel, follow my Instagram and my TikTok and my threads actually. I've just downloaded Threads, the new hot social app. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support as always. And I guess I will see you guys soon with another, hopefully more positive video. Bye.